hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here thank you so much for tuning in and if you are tuning sabi thank you so much for the support so on today's video we're going to be talking about being a graduate and looking for employment in south africa so i will be sharing my personal experience of the whole uh, transition from being a, from being a student to looking for a job and working so i started my university in 2014 and i finished in 2018 i, I have a national diploma in business communication and a certificate in events planning i went to varsity and college as well um i was a very good student i got the 4.0 gpa when i was studying in the us and i got my distinctions when i was in tut in varsity so i was really a good student and i thought it would be smooth sailing from varsity to getting a job but that was not really the case so when i was looking for an internship i only had two months to look for an internship but luckily for me i got it and that was my first job in 2017 august it was the best experience ever i got to learn more about media buying media planning and campaign management and I, the nice thing about working at a small agency was that i was able to work in the different departments i could work with the creative design i worked with the recruitment and selection part of the agency i could also help with the general administration of the whole company and i also went into the finance to see how payroll works and how they manage everything so it was a great experience um when that contract ended that is when the real journey of job hunting for me started and it was yeah it was i don't even have words it was so tough and it's tough on your confidence it's tough on your mental health it's, it overall just affects the person that you are. It knocks you down so much. At least that's what happened to me. So the first couple of months when I was home, I decided to not job hunt because firstly, my child was too small, too young. Uh, I was still recovering from the whole birth. And that's a whole different story. The whole birth, the NICU, the NICU trips. It was just a lot, a lot. But luckily for me, I've always been a savings person. I'm a saver. People that know me, because when you give me 50 rands, I always put away 10 rands. I don't care where the money comes from. As soon as money comes into my account or in contact with me, I take some of that money and I put it away and I spend some. That's just how I am. For me, saving money is spoiling myself. So I had some money saved up so I didn't have to like ask my parents for money to help me with the child. Mm -hmm. But luckily for me, I've always been someone who saves money. So I had uh what i call a honey pot i just dipped into my honey pot and spend that money on myself to buy myself cosmetics and buy my child whatever that she needed but being unemployed is just a lot and you i don't think anyone wants to be unemployed purposefully so what i did is that i registered my profile on multiple sites um i applied for maybe 10 to 20 jobs in a day and within a month i was burned out i was exhausted i was demotivated i wanted nothing to do with job hunting and i think i took a one or a two weeks break to just sit down and reflect and ask myself what can i do different what am i doing wrong that is not getting me called for interviews i'm not i'm just getting rejection letters left right center now what is it that i can do to make to change this thing to turn around so I took my time and I remembered that when I was doing my second year, our advertising lecture had us open LinkedIn profiles so that we could be able to network and find agencies and find decision makers that could help us with getting our in-service training slash internship. So I revisited my profile, I updated it, and I think I spent a lot of time on that platform because I wanted to understand how it works and how it can best work for me because it asks for your job title, it asks, it asks for your like education. So I needed to structure my education in a way that it would reflect just how good I was at school, but also reflect my internship and also the um, three, was it a three months? The three months program that I did in the States where I was working at a development um, NGO. So I needed to put the information properly. And when I finished that LinkedIn profile, I realized that it was so good. I could literally copy and paste it into a proper CV. So that's what I did. I took the information that I had structured on LinkedIn and I put it into a CV. But still, I did not want to be just sending out 20 um, applications in one day and getting 15 rejections and 5 silent ones. I wanted um, more of an interactive um, process of job hunting. I wanted the person that I'm sending the email to to respond to me with um, 
constructive information if they say no you do you can't have the job i wanted them to be able to come to me and say this is what you can improve on on your cv or this is what you can do when job hunting so what i did i started following agencies that i wanted to work with on instagram and i still had facebook at the time so also on facebook so i would follow these agencies see what is lurking from what they're posting and i would dm them and say hey i'm millicent this is what i noticed and this is how you can do better and i was in interaction with them for a long time and in 2019 i got my first job through linkedin at a um, startup technology firm but i was supposed to be working in their marketing division but it's very unfortunate that in that job i i was undermined a lot because of my age um and i think i don't know but i'm assuming there was some intimidation because i had because i have a quite um parking a foreign qualification so my my first line manager would just make me do admin work and not let me work with the marketing team which was very frustrating and when they did rule me in it would be like i'm the runner like they sent me to go get flyers somewhere and that's not what i wanted to do i want to sit down and come up with threads i want to execute and i want to do post campaign reports to say this was the expected uh but again outcome and this is the actual result you know so i worked there for march april in may i quit my job but i didn't tell my family because they were going to kill me you know and another thing i was being underpaid and i was always paid late so my bills were just going backwards and remember at this time my honeypot was running low because i had used it for the past 10 months so I had to come up with a second plan. So my backup plan was to start freelancing. I didn't know much about freelancing, but I knew an agency that was willing to help me. I was willing to take me in rather to work with them. So I started working with that agency. Um, in We started com communicating properly about me joining them in March, but the first project came in in April. So I think that's also that it also gave me that thing to say, you can quit your job and freelance. It was risky. I wouldn't advise people to do it, but I did it because I I believe in myself a lot and I believe that anything that I put my mind to I'm going to achieve it and besides at this point in time I had to make it work because I had quit my job you understand I don't have a cushion to go back to so I started freelancing and I did so well that my first gig paid me 14,000 rands and after getting that money I wrote my resignation letter to that company that I was working with to the tech company and I quit and now as a full-time freelancer and you know i was still learning the ropes so invoicing was like tricky for me coaching people was also tricky and one thing i can tell you is that don't wait for the situation to be okay because when i started freelancing all i had was my iphone and data i remember there was a time when i was working on a, on a 14 page strategy and i had to go to the internet cafe every day an internet cafe is like 20 rings for like one one or two hours um, i don't remember and there was a day where i didn't have cash on me because i barely have cash and i live on location so there's not even a plaza here for me to go and withdraw money so i went to the internet cafe and i said look i desperately need to send to finish this thing and i don't have the money and that lady was like you always here you can use it you'll pay me when you have the money so that's what i did i so I started, I just started working with my phone. That's all I had. I could download Microsoft Word. I had Google Docs. So I used my, my phone was my workstation all the time. And I only bought a laptop, I think, in four or five months down the line because now I had made enough cash. So um, my advice to you is that if you're looking for a job and you can't secure a job now, find something in the meantime that you can do that can give you money and good experience that it uh, that is in line with your industry and i always say if you can't find something you can't not all um barking not all fields can you can freelance so you can do something like sell bags sell tupperware sell avon sell makeup earrings or something and use that experience to marry it to your industry for instance i'm in the digital marketing i'm in advertising and pr field if i was selling handbags i would use that in scenarios to say i'm good at sourcing suppliers uh customer services and client relations those are what are needed when you're looking for a job in pr advertising and comms but i would use my experience as selling bags 
as my work experience so um, what I can also tell you is that looking for a job can be very demotivating and especially if you go hard at it so try your level best to pace yourself don't overdo it and also don't underdo it I know a lot of people find excuses of why they can't do other things and you only hold yourself back because the reality is unemployment is a real thing almost every young person in South Africa has gone through it or is still going through it so what am I doing right now right I had a job the beginning of this year I was working at an agency um, it was a very small agency and I had I think my problem is that I went in with big expectations because of how the company sells itself online but the reality did not match and I was not allowed like I was allowed creative um, freedom but I was not allowed uh, free execution so I can come up with ideas but I can't implement them so what is the point of bringing ideas to the team if they'll never materialize so it was demotivating I was always dreading to go to work but I did not quit that job uh, just that the company has temporarily closed down because of the lockdown so right now I'm still a full-time freelancer and I just opened I just started um, a virtual assistant company with an acquaintance of mine and so far everything is going so well we are doing our marketing very well I'm enjoying creating content and I've taken on new things like I'm a blogger and I have a blog that I write on and now I have YouTube as well so I'm perfecting my skills as a young person while I look for um, like okay let me not lie I'm not my, my, my long-term goal has nothing to do with me saying yes ma'am, no ma'am, yes sir. I want to be self-employed for the rest of my life. But right now I still need agency and corporate experience for myself so that I can grow and sharpen the skills that I have. So lastly what I can say to you is that if you're a graduate and you're looking for a job and you have hands, you have a phone, you have internet, you can create a job for yourself and don't let the journey of job hunting get you so much that you give up on yourself and stop comparing you to your friends and your mates thinking we went to school together but they have jobs I don't their journey is not your journey focus on your journey work with what you have do your best to network and open that LinkedIn profile it's very important it's very lucrative when you use it the same way you use Instagram, you use Twitter, you use Facebook, you use WhatsApp, that's how you use LinkedIn and it works. I can tell you guys it works. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you guys got some good, good, good information and you'll be using it down below. Hope to see you guys in my next upload. Mwah.